What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And this is a weird one. This should be an on location review because it is of a restaurant. We're hitting a couple new items at Sonic, but uh, it's the middle of the night and there's really no way to get a decent shot outside of Sonic at this hour. So we're at the capsule but doing some restaurant reviews. We got a couple of things that we're going to be covering. Number one are the new soft pretzel twists that they got going. So you want to get a shot of that. It's a uh, salty. They've got something hanging off of it. I don't know what that is. I'm just going to throw that in there. Uh, it is a, it is just a salty pretzel bread twist. Uh, really pretty standard, but it's a new a new menu item that they have over there, so I do want to... I've been meaning to check it out, but it's not enough to cover in its own video. It does come with some signature cheese sauce. So uh, we'll be dunking that pretzel in there and seeing what's up. Oh, thank God we got some napkins here. That's good, because that's a little oily there. But, of course, the most interesting thing going on at Sonic right now is the signature slingers that they're doing which is a blended beef patty with mushrooms like it's a hamburger patty with a blend of beef and mushrooms i guess it's a better way of saying it and what that ends up meaning is you're getting a fast food burger but it only has 340 calories it comes in the classic variety that i got and it also comes in a a, a bacon version i figured i'd just get the uh kind of the the, the signature, signature slinger, <laughs> the, uh, the classic, and man, oh man, it is very tiny. You know, it's like, so I think it was like 1994 or something, and, and I hope that that date is right, because I didn't prepare myself to speak about this, but you know I, know, I know my stuff a little bit. Milky Way came out with a Milky Way light bar. Did you ever try one of those? You know what I'm talking about? And really, it tasted just like Milky Way, but it was like half the size of a Milky Way. And it was like bragging about having less calories. It's like, of course you have less calories. It's half the size. This is like half the size of a normal burger at Sonic. So um, the calorie thing is way, way, way less impressive. I'm gonna dig into this first. I feel like the pretzel thing is a good like dessert or side item kind of thing. But it is on a brioche bun. So that's, uh, that's kind of what the bun is looking like there. And, uh, you know, kind of that soft, oily kind of bun. And, you know, got a little bit of darkness to it. So it's been, yeah, it has been grilled for a bit. So it comes with pickles, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, and mayo. I opted to get mine without the mayo because uh, mayo's not really my thing. Oh, there's, there's some little chopped onions on here too. And here is the beef patty slash mushroom patty. It's got a very grayish look. Is that gray coming through very good? Can you really see that gray? Because it's, um, man, oh, man. Uh, it has more of a mushroom color than a normal beef patty color, that's for sure. So uh, I'm going to take a few bites of this thing and let you guys know what I think. Um, you know, it's been... Pretty heavily promoted lately. They had um, uh, one lady from 30 Rock and the one lady from The Office uh, get with the two Sonic guys on their commercials for it. Um, I guess they figured since it was such a different menu item, they uh, wanted to kind of shift up the advertising campaign a little bit. This is enough to pique my interest, so let's see what's up. Well, so you can tell something is different about it, for sure. The beef patty does not taste like a traditional Sonic beef, you know, just a regular hamburger. Something a little bit different about it. And the, different is, the difference is not that good. <laughs> It kind of adds a saltiness to it, weirdly. It 
The pickles on there are really good. <laughs> but you guys don't care about that, I'm sure. The, the patty is not my thing, honestly. Um, it just has a weird taste to it. Like, it, it just doesn't taste right. It almost tastes... Mm. It tastes like it's not fresh. You know what I mean? Like, it just tastes like it's been... Like a burger patty that's been sitting around for a long time. Not a good trait. The toppings on it are, are pretty pretty solid, though. First off, I like the bun. I like the brioche bun. I think that they should integrate that into more of their menu items. Pickles are good. Lettuce isn't bad. Tomatoes are solid. Um, the cheese is nice and melty. And, uh, and all those things are, are certainly pros. But when you get to the patty, um, it's just not really my thing. I'm going to just try to get a bite with just some of this hamburger patty here. There we go. One thing I will say. Sometimes you get those um, hamburgers at a fast food place. And the meat is kind of hard. Like it's difficult to chew. You know, it just has a little bit of, you know what I'm talking about, right? It just doesn't have the give in it that you really want. Like a homemade burger. They really nailed the consistency of it to the point to where it's it's a pro in the sense that it's a nice soft patty. Like doesn't take any work to chew through one of these things at all. Part of that's because it's so tiny. To have I mentioned how freaking tiny this burger is? I know I have, but I just want to remind you guys it's very, very small. Really, I was pretty pumped because it's a two dollar burger, buck ninety nine for one of these things. That is not bad. But then I saw it, you know. If you're if you're doing a, a uh, four or five dollar burger, but it's forty or fifty percent of the size, it's not a good deal. <laughs> it doesn't make it a good deal. It's the same thing. So um, you can't really make a meal off of this. I mean, maybe it's a good like snack burger. Does, do, do people eat hamburgers as a snack though? I don't know. Maybe if you do, it's a good snack, I guess. But. I'm not huge on the patty, and I love mushrooms, and I love beef, uh, so it's, no, it's not that I'm biased against any of the flavors, it's just that I don't think that the execution was, was all, that, all that great. Mm. And like I said, don't be all that impressed. That's 340 calories. If this were just a regular hamburger bun... I can't imagine it would be more than 410, 420, whatever. Maybe 450. I don't know how fatty beef is. Maybe 400. I don't know. It would it would have more calories, but it would still be like fairly low calorie for a fast food thing because the burger is so small. But it's all right. I'm going to give you my... Um, so that's kind of my, my, my first impressions on it. I'm going to give it the... Uh, the old score and ranking in a minute. Because I'm going to dessert. So we have got the pretzel twist with the signature cheese sauce. This also was a $2 offering. So, you know, just a little something to round out a meal or a snack of there. Something to maybe have with your half price shakes after 8 p.m. or whatever. This is the sauce. I mean, it's a cup of... It's a cup of like cheese whiz, pretty much. It's certainly nothing special. It's not like that Taco Bell nacho cheese sauce for the nacho fries, you know. Let's see here. And I don't, it's, if they serve it warm, it certainly has lost its warmth. I think they just serve it at room temperature. I can give it a nice little dunk in there. Let's see what's up. Mmm. Man, that pretzel is so soft. Oh my God. It's like barely even 
like a pretzel. Dude, you gotta try this. This is so good. Do you like pretzels? I like good pretzels. That's your next, that's your new favorite pretzel. I mean, is that one of the best pretzels you've ever had in your life? Actually, yes. It really? I mean, I'm not joking. This, this is my favorite pretzel that I've ever had in my entire life. Um, and I love, I love you, Ikea. But you're taking second place on this one. That's the only, that's the only food at Ikea that takes second place. Everything else is first. So don't, don't get, don't be getting mad at me. But I, uh, this is the best pretzel I've ever had. Hmm. You know what it tastes like? It's almost like a delicious, perfectly buttered croissant. You're, you know, he's getting some real heavy agreement here. This is a pretzel to s literally stop watching. No, continue watching this video on your phone. Just the audio. Drive to Sonic right now and get this pretzel. It's that good. This is incredible. If they ever get rid of this, they're never going to be able to replicate something that's quite this good. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to take this last bite. Man, I already killed the whole damn thing. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a happy man. Well, we'll open up with the gimmick grade. It's a little bit, a little bit easy on this one because we have one really weird thing and one kind of boring thing. The gimmick of the signature slinger is so freaking different for a fast food burger. I gotta give it an eight out of no. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten for the gimmick, because it's such a different idea. The idea, the concept of a mushroom and beef patty at a fast food place. I just never thought I'd see the day, and, the, and I gotta give that a nine out of ten for the idea. Pretzel, not a great idea. I wish we could get a shot of it, but I already ate all of it. Um, it's not a great idea, but thank God they did it. Um, I'm going to give it a nice score of a 4 out of 10. It, it should have got a lot lower because it's a pretzel. Because, like, somehow, they didn't come up with the idea of a pretzel. They came up with the idea of the best pretzel ever created. So they're going to get a 4 out of 10 on the concept. But, you know, they're coming up with weirder stuff with it. So it's not like it's not like that's really hurting their score um, overall too much. You should still... If you're into interesting food more than great-tasting food, you can still go to Sonic because you got the signature slinger. If you're into great tasting food, get the pretzel and never get a signature slinger as long as you live. Uh, so now we're getting into the taste. We're gonna do a capsule countdown of these two items. Of course, number two is gonna be the signature slinger. Surprise, surprise. Uh, for taste, I'm giving it a four out of 10. Not super impressed with the taste. Um, you know, the toppings in the bun are what's holding it up but the whole concept is revolving around the burger itself, the patty itself. Bless you. Uh, so, four out of 10 in terms of taste, and the, all four of those points are everything but the patty, pretty much. So, not a great outing taste-wise, but very interesting nonetheless. That pretzel, are you ready for this? Dude, are you ready for this score? It's obviously number one on the capsule countdown, and listen to this. It's a 10 out of 10. I'm doing it. I don't care what anybody says. This is the perfect fast food item. It might be the best thing in fast food right now. And um, I'm even including stuff from Burger King. I know you guys think I have some Burger King bias because I'm always loving everything they have there. Uh, but that may be the best thing you can get in fast food right now. I love, love, love this pretzel twist. Go out and get it right now. Taste is 10 out of 10, perfect score. If, if I hadn't just had all these meals, I'd be probably getting another one right now because <laughs> it's that good. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you learned something about what Sonic's got going on right now. And um, if you've had a chance to try this stuff, you know, reaffirm that pretzel opinion, please, because um, 
I know 10 out of 10 is strong, and I don't throw that grade around a lot. Uh, I think that's my first ever 10 out of 10 on taste, actually. So it deserved it. It earned it. That got it the hard way. So anyway, please, 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 please subscribe to Consumer Time Capsule on YouTube. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers very desperately. And, uh, you know, slowly but surely we're getting there. But we could use all the help we can get. So tell a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, you can find me at ConsumerTC on Twitter and Instagram as well, so you can check me out there. But, um, man, I, I just wish I had more of the pretzel to eat. It's so good. Oh, my God, is it good. Uh, anyway, I will definitely miss you guys till I see you. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll catch you next time.